Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Dorsen. And today I want to talk about taking out cameras out when you go out on hikes. Um, this is not going to be specifically directed towards YouTube because I've already done a series for that, but also because sometimes people like to take videos and pictures just to share with their friends, their family. Some of this information will be useful for YouTube, but you can also share it, like videos and pictures, you can share with your family, you can put it up on Facebook, you can put it up literally anywhere. So I kind of developed a three camera system and these three different types of cameras are generally the good types to bring out hiking. There's also a fourth one, which I'll also mention. But let's start with the first type. If you have a smartphone, the smartphone is the best place to start, especially modern ones. Um, I've been using the GoPro S9, but even the S7 that I had and the S8 uh, have amazing cameras on it. Uh, the iPhone, the newer iPhones as well, have great cameras on them as well. The S9 is just better for low light. Um, but these have amazing cameras on them for both video and picture. And the benefit of having these is you already carry them on you. Um, they're small, they fit in your pocket, they're lightweight, they're, you know, you, they're flat. You, some of them don't have a lot of memory on them. So you may have to, if it has the option to, you may have to put a micro SD card in it, but it's great. And I've honestly taken some of my favorite pictures I have with one of these phones. Um, I will say there's, as I said, there's some disadvantages against space. And the other issue is they're not really versatile. What you have is what you get. You can't really easily throw lenses on there, though they do make adapters for it. So you can't really zoom in really well. But the other benefit of it is, is you can easily just, if you have a wireless signal and you want to share an adventure, or you want to share a picture with your friends, you can easily upload it to social media. So that's really awesome. And sometimes I even do that because I just want to instantly show people, hey, look where I am. Um, that's one of the benefits of them. And I honestly, that when I'm out hiking, that is really my main camera. It, it really is. The next step up from that really is a point and shoot. I'm not gonna show one here because I don't really carry one with me that much, but they're great if you don't want to carry around a cell phone with you. Um, they aren't as much in the, uh, in the circuit as much anymore but they tend to have a little bit more versatility with them and the fact that you can shove batteries into them, whereas cell phones don't have removable batteries, so you have to carry around a battery pack with them. Um, so those ones, and you can also put SD cards into them, so you can have a lot more space in them. So point and shoots are pretty good, and also sometimes they have kind of flip around screens, you get a little bit more play with them, and they're also a bit cheaper. However, that means you have to carry something extra with you. I do have point and shoots, but I don't use them as much. I've retired some of mine from my rotation of cameras, and I've doesn't mean I don't use them. It's just they don't get used as often. Um, actually, my Nikon that I have, Cassie uses more. She takes out with her when she doesn't want to use her cell phone because it drains battery. Um, but she'll also use her cell phone as much. So point and shoots and cameras are kind and phones are kind of I kind of put them in the same category, but phones are really the best place to start but I started with an icon point and shoot. So the next place up is the GoPro. At the time of recording this, the GoPro Hero 7 just came out with three different lines, the lowest being 200, and then the $200, which is the white, the silver being 300, and the black being 400. And I really think out of that line, the 400 is the best model. Um, but I currently use a GoPro Session, uh, which is out of its, five, uh, its Hero 5 models. Um, I like having this around. It's a good camera. I can literally just shove somewhere. I can shove it underwater. I can shove it um, up on a tree. I can shove it somewhere where I can get a good angle on something. Um, I use it mostly as a vlogging camera. These aren't great for pictures, but if you do like taking videos for your trips and sharing with people or like showing bike rides or showing underwater things or taking pictures underwater, GoPros are really where it's at. I t as I said, I tend to use this more as a vlogging camera because it is super light. GoPro sessions, 
just like your cell phone can fit in the palm of your, can fit in your pocket, but also how the GoPro session in outside of its case is super small. And it's pretty much the size of a large ice cube. You can't really find them as much anymore because of, I think, the sevens. They don't really advertise them as much. But the sevens look pretty good. I'm looking at them. The other benefit of this, it's a 4K camera in the palm of my hand. Um, I tend to carry it with an UltraPod. I love UltraPods. Um, but GoPros are tend to be my mid-range camera I tend to carry out. Um, also because they're just durable. I don't mind throwing them around. And the front cover lens, you can replace them. Downside of these, as I said, for the session, this doesn't have replaceable batteries. Now they're higher end models, really only have their, their replaceable batteries. And for someone like me who does a lot of filming, I require it, but if you do some point and shoots, that's the issue. The other problem is, is with the fish lens, fish eye lens, if you are trying to film something further away, you really don't have that uh, versatility. Like it doesn't show it as well. So you kind of get a wide view. And it's great for wide views, but it doesn't really get a lot of good uh, short views. Or doesn't you can't really see things far away. And it, that's been affecting some of my videos. Um, for the next portion, I'm gonna show you my last portion, which is a DSLR camera. Um, these are great for, and I'm gonna, so this is my DSLR camera setup. If you do a recording setup, this is kind of how I do it, set, how I have it, but I mean, you obviously don't have to do recording. I sometimes don't even bring out a microphone with me. Um, DSLR cameras are really great for, uh, if you want to get really good videos, um, but they're also great for really great pictures. Put this away. Um, I tend to use my DSLR for some hikes where I know I'm gonna get some really great scenes and it's gonna be it tend to be a shorter hike and I want to get some really good shots. I also, the benefit of it is I can carry more lenses, like this 75 by uh, 75 to 300 millimeter lens, or I can get some really good telephoto shots. Um, of things far away. So the benefit of the DSLR or an SLR camera is I don't, I have more versatility. I don't have to worry about, okay, can I get a picture of something way over there? I can go, yes, I can get a picture of something way over there. I can click, click, bam. The other benefit is you get really high quality shots. Um, some really awesome shots. I tend to take these out, take a lot of really awesome pictures, and then not release them because I just really like the pictures. Um, and then just forget to release them. But I also sometimes use these for filming. And that's why I said, the big benefit of these is they're versatile, but they're heavy. So I tend to not hike with them a lot. So that's why I tend to carry, I have two lighter cameras, and I have a heavy camera. Um, so I'll throw it in my shoulder bag, sometimes I'll throw the shoulder bag over me, or if I have a backpack big enough, I'll shove it in there. So you gotta kind of take that as you will. Problem is, is the other thing is with the DSLR camera, like my EOS Rebel T T7i, which is kind of a good entry level camera, um, the DSLRs and SLRs are expensive. Whereas your cell phone, you're already investing in one of those as is, and a GoPro compared to one of these is cheaper. They're not cheap, they're cheaper. So, higher range, lower range. Um, doesn't mean you have to have all of these, but these are kind of how I go about it. A photo, uh, point and shoot, if you're going for a three camera system, may be a good option to replace a DSLR camera because some of them are actually really good nowadays as opposed to when I was shopping for them. So if you're looking for a three camera system like I have here, a point and shoot would be a good replacement for one of these. But this is how I bring out cameras into the woods. These are cameras that I bring out to the woods. And necessarily, I don't even film with all of them all the time. Sometimes I don't even film at all. I just take pictures. I don't even release them. I just kind of go home and go pretty, pretty, pretty. Those are pretty. I really like those pictures. And I just sit and go, 
have a lot of unreleased pictures. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, my name's Nate, I'm the Art Torsman. What If you bring on cameras, whether you're you, YouTube or not, what pictures do you, or what cameras do you use? Um, as I said, mine is a Galaxy S9, a GoPro Session 5, and a Canon EOS Rebel T7i. Love to hear what you have. Anyways, my name's Nate, I'm the Art Torsman. You get outside, remember, you get outside, have some fun. See everyone.